Hi, hi, how have you been? And welcome back to more DML. So, we have confirmation that the Liberty Dragon is going to be the next Dragon of the Week in DML. So yesterday we found out what the Dragon of the Month is going to be. Today we found out what the Dragon of the Week is going to be. Ain't that just the sweetest? But this right here is the Liberty Dragon. Obviously it's meant to be like the Statue of Liberty, which is in America. And this is a weird epic. Light, wind, and metal. Definitely a strange typing. I think it fits the theme of the dragon, though. It's just, you know, he is going to be coming out next Monday. And so, we do have the breeding combination revealed to us already as per usual. So you can find this on the DML wiki. And the combo is actually the B plus Geiger dragons. And you can see all the possible outcomes in this table here. But... I normally find it a lot easier to look on the breeding calculator itself. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's actually nine outcomes along with the Mystic Dragon. But some of these have long breeding times, like 14 hours on the Lightning, 18 hours on the Ruby, 12 on the Tribal, and then there's the Mystic Dragon as well. So honestly, it's probably going to be a pretty painful breed come Monday, but the Geiger plus B is the combo you are going to be using, so get those two ready, make sure you are prepped come next week. And on top of the Liberty Dragon news, I just want to point out that the Firestar Dragon does have all of its image files on the DML wiki now, so you can go and take a look at them yourself. I mean, I love the baby form, he looks so cute. I still find it weird that their tail is like literally a firework going off and it just is per like perpetually stuck in time is what I'm trying to say but the egg as well super weird but like I said you can go and check them out yourself on the DML wiki in the images section so go have fun with that and the final thing that I wanted to go through before anything else today is that there is another sweepstakes on which means you can win a legendary dragon or up to 2,000 gems. And come on, who the heck doesn't want thousands of gems for free? I mean, if you don't, I, I'd say you're probably lying. So, this is what the post says. Chance to win the Lantern Dragon and much more. Like the, D like the DML Facebook page and like this picture to get a chance to win the legendary Lantern Dragon. So how to enter during the promotion period, like the account DML and like the post, like the account Dragon Mania Legends and like the promotion post, receive one entry into the sweepstakes. If you do not have an account on Facebook, you must create one by following the instructions on Facebook.com. And then the promotion period, it begins on the 29th of June, so that is today, and it finishes on the 3rd of July. So you don't have that many days to actually get in on this little sweepstakes, but, you know, it doesn't take that long to, you know, like the picture and like the DML page. So, you know, it's not too much work. And then they tell us here what are the prizes. Three chosen winners will be awarded. The winners will be selected randomly by the DML team and will be shortly contacted via private message. The first prize is the legendary Lantern Dragon. Second prize is 2,000 gems. And third prize is 1,000 gems. And like with all sweepstakes, make sure you go and check out the official rules. They can't do sweepstakes to people in certain countries. And there's other weird stuff that goes on in terms of the ruling. So make sure you read through that as well. But damn, like a thousand, two thousand gems for free. And then on top of that, you could also get yourself the Lantern Dragon. And from the way that it's going, it definitely looks like he probably won't be available for a very long time, if ever again. So, you know, I've got Saini here, of course, at level 80, so I, I would if I won the top prize, I would be very upset, if nothing else. I would actually be pretty disappointed getting a second Lantern Dragon instead of more gems, but, you know, make sure you get in on that sweepstakes. Free 2,000 gems is very nice. Very nice, to say the least. It's not something you just want to give up for free. Definitely not. And so the clan event is now over. I've already done my daily tasks for today as well. So I guess we are pretty much free to just do whatever the heck we want. I guess we could do a couple of clan quests just to get some extra food or... Well, points. I should say not food. What the heck? Just so that we can get some extra points. But eh, I'm lazy. I can't be bothered. <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh, have my... Re oh, they have refreshed. 
You know, I'm still trying to get used to the new daily quests, like the blue map quests, because obviously they've been changed from the old way, so they just spawn every few hours or so. And I think I did these blue map quests like four and a half, five hours ago. So they are back now, which ain't bad. Like, nothing to snuff your nose at. At least getting some more quests out of it, but... Obviously, if you just want to sit down and play DML for a long time, the new daily quest method isn't necessarily the best thing, but I guess it does force people onto the game a lot more often, so it, it does what they wanted it to do. Well, like I've said before, you know, if that's what Gameloft intended, all the power to them. They have succeeded. And at the end of the day, as long as we are getting the same amount of rewards, or even more than what we used to get, I do not care all that much. It's just as soon as they start stripping down and taking away rewards, yeah, that, that would be a different thing altogether. But they didn't really do that. They kind of did, but didn't. So, I'm not too bothered at the end of the day. And the heroic mode fights are even back. At least a couple of them are back. You see, if they could just make all of the daily quests heroic mode ones, that would be so good because you get so much more out of doing the heroic mode versions. So what if, come next update, they got rid of all the regular ones, but they gave us VIP, on, I mean the heroic mode only ones. Would that be good? Would it be good in the long run? Maybe not. I guess it would depend on how much energy you have. And obviously people with VIP tickets would be vastly ahead because they would get so so many more fights done in like a very short space of time and why does this guy have a level 77 smoke dragon fully enchanted well to be fair it doesn't actually take that much in terms of materials to enchant commons and that but still it's level 77 why i just don't get it like why would you do that to yourself Maybe he just really, really loved his smoke dragon that much that he he had to make it part of his main team. And you know if that's true, I'm glad that you're a dedicated individual. I personally never really, I guess, loved any dragon in this game enough to like go, No, I refuse! I won't get rid of him! I, I guess I was kind of like that when I first got a comet dragon. But then I realised he just sucked major butt, and then I just got rid of him. Like, literally as quick as that, I was like, wait, I thought he was a legendary, so he'd be good, right? No, 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 no. Not all legendaries are good. And I feel like that's something that, you know, the earlier on in the game you are, the more likely you are to think that. Because, you know, legendaries are meant to be hard to breed, limited time, the best dragons in the game. Even though divines are obviously better now. But, you know, a lot of legendaries actually suck. The Comet Dragon is one of them. The Cosmos Dragon is one of them. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Siren Dragon either. And plus, with a lot of legendaries having divine dragons that are just a better version of them, a lot of them become kind of pointless. The example being, you know, the next Dragon of the Month, the Firestar, I believe he's got the same elements as the Zeus, doesn't he? Light and energy? I may be wrong. I think that that is the Zeus's typing anyway. I'll have to check it straight after this. But, you know, when there's just a divine that's just a better version of that dragon, it seems really pointless to level it up. Because if you ever go against someone that has that divine, it's like, oh, well, my dragon doesn't win in any scenario. Plus, mine is just a legendary, so it doesn't have divine blessing either. So, ultimately, you kind of screw yourself over. So that's why I've been saying, if a divine plant and shadow dragon comes out, I'll be super happy that we have such a strong dragon in the game, but it would mean that we would have to replace our autumn dragon. And after the amount of effort that's gone into this guy, trust me, I don't particularly enjoy the thought of having to replace him after this long. 
But if the time comes and the situation arises, I guess we don't really have much choice, do we? Guess we just have to go with the flow. And so far, it seems like the new the new um, apprentices that we've actually gotten have been on it for the last couple of days. So let's hope the pace continues. Let's hope we keep these um, apprentices in our game and they actually work. I do have a slot for apprentice slot four if you want to use my recruitment code and get mentored by me, by the way, if you're interested. And look at that. We already have someone that did the mentoring and now they're level 118 they're literally level 108 no they're level 77 i was gonna say that's 118 dragons never mind me but still level 77 and level 67 like not even that long after actually doing the mentoring program i was gonna say level 110 just seems unreasonable but look at this Although I don't remember if this was the person that said that this was their second account. They do have the Jester Dragon, so they're obviously in a pretty good clan. Jesus. Yeah, they must... This must just be a second account or something, but still, that amount of progress in, like, a couple of months is not that bad. Not that bad at all, in fact. So, kudos to you. I'm proud of my little apprentice there. But, you know, for now, I am gonna head off, so... You know, I look forward to the Liberty Dragon coming on Monday, like I said. Where is he? I've already lost him. Where are you? Oh, he's over here. Okay, that's why. I thought he'd be in, like, the wind habitat for some reason. But yes, look forward to it. Get your breeding stuff ready. And let me know whether you're actually going to be going ahead and breeding this guy or not. Because he's not a new Dragon of the Week, like the butterfly is. But... He's probably still a dragon that a lot of people don't have. So, for now, best of luck. And good luck with the boss challenge stuff as well. Because, um, as you can see, I'm still not really paying attention to it. And everything will get one shot. Rip. I just remembered that it was there. So, you know, I just thought I'd do it quick. But anyway, like I said, take care. And until next time, I will see you then.